Good morning, good morning, Keisha Johnson here. How are you? Please be so kind if you are catching the replay to go ahead and type in hashtag replay so I will know that you are watching. Good morning, good morning. Happy Friday, happy Valentine's Day. Good morning. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. All right, so my name is Keisha Johnson. I just wanted to come on this morning. Hi, Ricky. Good morning. Good morning. As you all are jumping on, please go ahead and share the broadcast. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Victoria. So I have something important that I want to talk to you all about today. God clearly interrupted my um, broadcast this morning, uh, the Waking Early for His Glory broadcast. So I thank and praise God that it looks like I am able to come live. So as you all are jumping on, just go ahead and share. And if someone can share this into the We Write the Word community, um, yeah, have, a, have to have a little conversation. So I'm going to give you all a moment to jump on. As you're jumping on, go ahead and share. Thank you. After you've shared, go ahead and uh, type in share because I need to talk to you all. We need to have a family meeting, have a little conversation this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Laquanda. Hello, Stacy. Good morning, everybody. Great morning, Evangelist Rosa. So good to see you all. Good morning. I'll, go, I'll wait just a moment before getting started. Good morning, Belinda. Good morning, Daphne. So um, I attempted to go live this morning um, to do the Waking Early for His Glory um, broadcast. And um, God clearly interrupted that broadcast. And, and in that, I have three pages of notes of things that I have to share. And so that's kind of what he does when you show up um, attempting to do what it is that you want to do instead of what it is that he <laughs> wants you to do. Yes, good morning. So uh, how am I going to start this? So I have a couple of pages of notes and things that I want to share. Um, and this is kind of one of those things where I did not want to do this. You know, I kind of, and if I can be transparent, wrestled with God concerning this because it's not something that I wanted to go live and talk about. But here I am um, trying to be obedient. So I have a question for you all. I have a question for you all. When you look at this face, what do you see? When you look at this face, what do you see? When you look at this face, what do you see? And I'm going to give you all a moment to type that in the comments. When you look at this face, what do you see? And I titled this message, Don't Suffer in Silence. Don't Suffer in Silence. And I am really excited actually about this broadcast because this is my coming out moment, my coming out of the closet. Okay, so you see renewed. All right, I'm going to give you all a moment. When you look at this face, what do you see? When you look at this face, what do you see? Let me turn off these notifications. Um, I need you all to kind of interact with me. Letitia says she sees renewed. Good morning, Nicole. As you all are jumping on, when you look at this face, what do you see? <laughs> when you look at this face, what do you see? Rejuvenate. Okay. Ricky says rejuvenate. That's a good one. All right. When you look at this face, what do you see? <laughs> Letitia says renewed. Ricky says rejuvenate. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning. Good morning. All right, give me a moment here. I need to turn off this stuff on my... Uh, Trista says confidence. Belinda says I see nice and peaceful. All right. Daphne says I see passion and excitement. These are all good. These are all true. These are all true. All good stuff. As you all are jumping on, the question of this morning is you see trustworthy, you see kindness and blessed. All right. All right. So as you all are jumping on, you see victory. That's true. You see victory. Ah, Stacy says love for God. That is so correct. All right. Good morning. Someone else who is free. Amen. Oh, Nicole says brilliant and compassion. Oh, you all are so correct. You all are so correct. What do you see when you see this face? What do you see? All right. So a mighty woman of God. Ah, oh, y'all are so awesome. All right. I'm going to go ahead and share the whole point of, um, this broadcast everything that you shared 
is correct. And I'm going to share with you why I asked that question. Um, you see power, you know what, you all are not done. Let me give you all just a moment and I promise you, so hang in there, I'm going somewhere with this. When you look at this face, what do you see? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, hold on, I'm trying to respond to this. Um, you see power, okay. All right, it looks like you may be done. When you look at this face, what do you see? Anyone else want to answer? So I want to share with you. All right, let me go ahead and jump in. Good morning, Monica. Good morning. All right, so everything that you all shared is correct, but um, all right, everything that you see, joy, that's correct. That is so correct. All right. Um, This is a hard one, y'all, but I can do this. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. So I shared, yes, I think I shared a couple of days ago that last week, and I know that we are in the middle of this um, this 21-day no complaining fast. Ugh, Robin, transparency, absolutely. And so if as you all are jumping on, those of you that just tuned in, go ahead and share the broadcast because I really think that this is going to help someone. Honestly, I feel like um, this is one of the most important broadcasts that I have ever done. And I think one of the most transparent broadcasts that I have ever done. So with that being said, everything that you all noted in the comments is absolutely correct. But surprisingly enough, you all, this space, you are also looking at someone that suffers from depression and, and, and anxiety and someone that hid it for many, many, many years. No makeup. <laughs> That's right. No makeup, good skin. And someone that hid it for many, many, many years. And God, for the first time, has said, you need to go and you need to talk about it. And I say that because we look at people and, um, you know, we've heard over the last couple of months, honestly, I would say the last six months. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something that many don't talk about. And my question to God was, why me? You know, I'm always asking that, why me? So this morning I showed up for Waking Early for His Glory, about to go over the other lesson, which I know I'm supposed to talk about, but this morning I attempted to go there when he wanted me to go here, and I wasn't obedient. So he quickly and abruptly um, interrupted that broadcast. So um, I, I feel like I need to share that because something happened last week that literally pushed me over the edge and I responded in such a way where it made me stop and say whoa what just happened here although the situation was not okay and although I did not like the situation my response to what happened made me say whoa what just happened here what just happened here is not okay the amount of anger that I felt in that moment I was just like, this wasn't okay. So it made me stop. And so with that being said, the reason why I asked you all that question, when you look at this face, what do you see? Because a lot of times, you know, um, stigma, you know, the stigma that is attached to even the word depression in itself, um, the stigma that is attached to, you know, the word anxiety in itself, um, shame and stigma can keep people like me um, shame and stigma can keep people like me quiet. And so God has been telling me that the muzzle is about to be removed. And there have been many other things that I've been struggling with that I've been so transparent with. And this is one of them that I personally felt like I couldn't be. And even with this live, and listen, I'm going to need y'all to talk back to me. Everybody's real quiet right now. <laughs> and even with this live, I was just like, God, I feel like I'm taking a risk here. You know, like this feels really risky. Why are you choosing me to do this? You know, this is feeling really risky right now. And so with that being said, um, depression and anxiety runs in my family. And honestly, there are many people that are no longer here with us because of it. You know, I've grown up and I've shared this so many times and this is just me having a conversation with you, just being open, honest and transparent, um, just believing that God will continue to cover me. And so it's something that ran in the family. And so growing up, 
I have seen my mom just on countless numbers of different medications and like prescription drugs and things like that. And I remember saying, yes, Letitia, I've been praying for you. And I remember saying, uh, listen, y'all, and these are happy tears. I knew this was going to happen, but these are happy tears. And I'll tell you why. I feel so free today because, um, that situation that happened, I just said, my God, you know, sorry, y'all. This is why I told God I didn't want to go live. <laughs> Hang on, hold the line. And so we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about this. And so here are a couple of things so i want you all to know that people can be struggling with this and people can be dealing with this and y'all type in it's okay it's okay to say i am anointed and i need help hold on hold on it's okay to say i'm anointed and i need help it's okay to say I'm anointed and I need healing. It's okay to say I'm anointed and I need deliverance. And um, hold on, I can do this, y'all. And when I say these are happy tears, these are happy tears, and I'll tell you why. And so with that being said, if it is you and if you are like me, know that God can still use you. And so what the enemy will do is lie to you and tell you that there's something wrong with you you know the enemy will lie to you and tell you that god can't still use you and that's a lie from the pit of hell and so this face right here is here to tell you that god can still use you god can still use you and let me share this and so with that being said you know seeing my mom suffer the way that she did i remember saying that will never be me. And so what I've done for many, many years is, um, and so what I've done for many, many years is try to ignore it. What I've done for many, many years is saying, you know, I don't want to be that way. I don't want to be like that. And so I have notes and I'm going to read my notes because I want to stay on track here because I know that this is going to help somebody. And so... I want to share, and this is going to be a teachable moment, all right? Just ignore the tears. These are happy tears because I feel so good and feel so free this morning that the enemy um, no longer has control over me, you know, just simply because I made a decision today to say, yes, I'm going to go live. I made a decision to say, yes, I'm going to talk about this. I made a decision today to say, we're just going to talk about it because many people don't want to talk about it. And so we've seen many lives taken because of this over even the last six months. And we look and we see pastors that have, that have suffered and we're like, how could they do that? You know, we see different leaders that have suffered and, and have taken their lives and say, how could they have done that? Because you don't, we don't understand. But I'm here to tell you, I understand, you know, depression is very real. Anxiety is very real. And so I want to share um, some of the symptoms of depression with you, um, some of the symptoms that I've noticed in my own life over the years. And so with this being said, you know, I've gotten help, you know, I've went, I've sought help, I've done all of those things. And I think for me, it's been um, when these episodes happen or these things happen, you feel like you have no one to talk to. You feel like you have no one that you can trust out of fear of being judged and so what I'm doing right now is a big deal all right what I'm doing right now is a big big deal and it doesn't matter that the enemy's saying you're taking a risk doing that you know I wouldn't go live about that if I were you but I chose to say yes to God anyway and so here I am and so let's talk about some of the symptoms one intense sadness intense sadness feeling guilty Feeling worthless and I need you all to share this because this is going to help somebody so some of the other symptoms are feeling anxious um, crying more than usual and listen to this um, another symptom is becoming angry over minor reasons 
and taking it out on the people that are closest to you. Let me say it again, becoming angry over minor reasons and taking it out on people closest to you. Some other symptoms are feeling suicidal. Other symptoms are low energy. Um, some other symptoms of depression are um, digestive problems, you know, not wanting to be around people and unable to complete normal everyday tasks. And listen, this is just a small list. This is a small list, right? Um, but these are ones that the Lord, listen, I just did this just this morning, just this morning, just this morning, just this morning, in between having trouble with the last live and going live now. So this is all just fresh, just from this morning, literally, let me grab a piece of paper and write this down. But these are some symptoms that I've noticed in my own life. And so, you know, I've shared a lot of my story. Um, I share a lot of my story, you know, growing up in a traumatic ho household, you know, being physically abused, you know, social, uh, um, physically abused, sexually abused, emotionally abused, just really, really traumatic experience. And so this is something that runs in the family. And there are many different causes and many different reasons of it, of um, depression. So I'm going to share what I have in my notes. All right. And so with that being said, the first step, what does the teacher always teach? The first step is to admit that you have a problem. Or the first step I would say is to admit that, the, admit that there is a problem. We can continue to ignore it and act as if there isn't. But at some point I was no longer able to ignore it. And so all of these many, 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 many years ago, even from a little child, remember, you know, going to different doctors, de different therapists and things like that because of the things that I was dealing with. But at some point, I remember saying, I don't want to be like my mother. I don't want to be like my grandmother. I don't want to be a, like these different family members, you know, that have struggled with depression and anxiety. And it's unfortunate that, I'm sorry, y'all, excuse me, hold the line. <laughs> that many of these family members have turned to things like drugs, have turned to these things like alcohol, and you know, all of these different coping mechanisms. And there are some that are no longer here because of it. And so um, the first step, again, is to admit that there is a problem or that you have a problem. And this is something that I had to do. And so with that being said, again, this broadcast is really just to be a teachable moment. So there are many causes and many reasons why one may de be depressed all right there are many causes and many reasons why um the first one is physical all right the first one is physical um so it can be due to improper diet it can be due to lack of exercise it can be due to not getting enough sleep and i'm gonna say something about this and um i started my own personal journey to wellness back in 2013 i believe it was because I was in a deep, deep, dark place. There were some things that were happening in my life. You know, there was a period of transition that I was in at that time. And I, it was a really dark place. And I remember being at a place where I just wanted to end it all. That's literally where I was. When I say dark, I mean dark in a dark place and it was really scary in a place it that's just something that i don't wish on anybody but i thank god and praise god that he was with me all in and through all of this and so i had to do something or die literally okay i had to do something or die and that was when i began walking and began you know drinking more water and um trying to get more sleep where at that time i was just staying up all hours of the night binge watching different shows on television you know eating different things that were no good for me because that was what i turned to you know fam my family turned to drugs you know they turned to alcohol they turned to sex all of these different things that was what i turned to because i always said i don't don't want to be like them you know I don't want to be the one that's on drugs addicted to different kind of drugs and alcohol and cigarettes and all of those different things and so that was how my journey started so with that being said self-care is important self-care is important it is important it's just helping somebody I see some of the comments but um, I'm trying not to really look at them so um, that I'm not um, distracted and so many causes are number one physical you know improper diet lack of exercise not getting enough sleep number two different losses or hurts you know so that is another cause of being depressed number three is sin you know number three is sin Number three is sin. You know, it can sometimes be rooted in sin. So if we know that we're doing wrong, we just need to admit it to God. And number four is wrong thinking. I believe that we can think ourselves into a depression and that we can also think ourselves 
out of a depression. And so you may find yourself saying things like, I'm no good, you know, or I'll never be good enough, or I can't do anything right. Has anyone else ever said this before? Or this situation will never change. Things will never change. But we know what the word says, right? Philippians 4.13 says, I can do everything God asked me to do with the help of Christ, who gives me the strength and power. Let me read that again. Philippians 4.13, I can do everything God asked me to, to do with the help of Christ, who gives me strength and power, who gives me strength and power. And so um, I just shared some of the symptoms of depression and then some of the causes or the reasons that one um, can be depressed. And so with that being said, the reason why this is something that I didn't even want to go live about, something that I didn't want to talk about. And when I tell you all, I struggled last week. I struggled last week. And again, that situation that happened, that um, something that someone said to me, I had to stop and say, why did I respond this way? I felt like it literally pushed me over the edge and I struggled. And so when I show up, you all, you know, my showing up and, you know, me saying drink your water, you know, take your vitamins, make sure you're getting enough sleep, you need to work out. All of that is part of self-care. All of that is part of how I manage, you know, my stress. It's part of how I manage my anxiety. It's part of how I manage it, you know, how I manage it. And it's how I got started on my journey all of those years ago. Again, it was do something or die literally and that's literally where I was at that place in my life so I'm here to say you know self-care is important self-care is important um and when I started oh hold the line excuse me and when I started combination of a cold and trying to go live too and when I started on my journey I didn't have a whole lot of weight to lose physically but I had a lot of weight to lose in the spirit I didn't have a whole lot of weight to lose physically but I had a whole lot of weight to lose in the spirit and so with that being said you know um, the first thing you need to do is say okay there is a problem and it's okay you know it is okay it is okay to say that there is something wrong and so with that being said from a very um, young age like a, even before my early teenage years you know, going to the doctor and, and listen, hear me, hear me, hear me. I need you all to hear me. If you are, have been prescribed medication, I am in no way telling you not to take it. All right. I am in no way telling you not to take it. I'm just sharing my story. And so with that being said, you know, I have been prescribed different medications, you know, and different things like Zoloft, Xanax and different things. And I did not like how it made me feel. You know, I did not like how it made me feel. And I made a decision to say, you know what, I, 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 I'm, I'm no longer going to do this. I'm no longer going to take this. I'm going to let this be my medicine and that's the decision that i made and i again i need you all to hear me i am not telling you if you are on medication or if you have been prescribed medication i am not telling you not to take it you know what i'm saying is i did not like the way that it made me feel i was just not okay with it and i made the decision to not do that i'm not saying that it was right i'm not saying that it was okay but that's just a personal decision that i made for myself and that was be when i began researching different ways you know different alternative ways to manage it and let me just say it because i didn't even want to say the word different alternative ways to manage depression and listen depression is not a dirty word word i need you all to type that in the comments for me somebody just type that in depression is not a dirty word and most of the times we can't even say it you know we can't even say it we can't even say it but the reason that i'm doing this live is to encourage someone do not suffer in silence you do not have to suffer in silence so all of the people and listen my heart really for the pastors really for the leaders because you feel like you have no one to talk to you feel like hold the line hold the line you feel like you cannot trust people you feel like you you know you're afraid to talk about it hold the line you're afraid to talk about it because you feel like you're going to be judged. And I'm here today to say, you know what? I don't care if this live is going to bless someone, encourage someone, 
and, and help someone by all means here I am and I just say yes to God you know depression is not a dirty word it's not a dirty word and so um all it simply is is an imbalance you know and that's it doesn't mean that something's wrong with you it doesn't mean that you're crazy you know and 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 I'm not about to go all into the medical part of it all you know I've done my research I know what it is you know if you feel like you need to know more about it um just go ahead and google it but I'm just here to share you know some things that help me and the reason I need to do this live is because I need you all to know that our mental health is our wealth our mental health is our wealth I need to say that again our mental health is our wealth our mental health is our wealth and it's important for us to take care of our mental health and a lot of times we don't do that so again self-care is important we must take care of ourselves I don't show up every day like work out eat right you know drink, take your vitamins drink your water for nothing I know it has helped me it and literally honestly it helped to save my life again when I was in that deep dark place it was do something or die do something or die literally good morning to those of you that are just tuning in please share the broadcast if you all have not shared please go ahead and share this I believe that God had me go live for a reason and I believe that this is going to help somebody and so mental illness doesn't just impact our mind alone you know mental illness doesn't just impact our mind alone it impacts us physically as well and so when I get up in the morning so I'm waking early for his glory and um and listen I, and and I want you all to know and I asked you all the question um in the beginning of this video when you look at this face what do you see because you see the smile you know I am truly happy right now you know just because you struggle with bouts of depression doesn't mean that you're walking around sad crying all the time you know there are moments that that happens but you know when I show up and I'm like it's a great day to be alive I'm telling you all every morning I wake up I'm just like God I thank you it's a great day to be alive because had the enemy had his way I wouldn't be here right now had the enemy had his way I wouldn't be here right now had the enemy had his way I wouldn't be here right now so I thank and praise God that he did not allow the enemy to have his way so every day I wake up every morning I open my eyes I say it's a great day to be alive and so with that being said you know I kind of last week was a struggle for me but you know what I still showed up you know why because I made a decision to always do the opposite of what the enemy wants me to do what he wanted me to do was stay in bed what he wanted me to do was cry all day what he wanted me to do was say I quit I throw my hands up but I've been, I made a decision years ago listen I feel like all my life I had to fight <laughs> I can't remember what movie that was. Wasn't it Oprah Winfrey and the Color Purple or something? Somebody said, all my life I had to fight. And I literally feel like all my life I had to fight. And Facebook has been accountability for me. And I shared that it was in 2013 that I started, you know, showing up. Hey, I went for a walk today. I ate a salad today. You know, I got eight hours of sleep last night. You know, Facebook is strong accountability for me because on the days when I want to stay in bed, I got to get up. You know, on the days that I want to stay in bed crying all day, I can't. I have I have people to help. I have people to help. I have people to help. And so I can't be selfish and I have to remind myself that it's not about me. And so let me say, um, so here's my self-care plan. And, you know, here's my self-care plan. And, I, and again, just something about that word, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it on today. Why? Because I am free. And as I'm sitting here and sharing, I, I feel like the muzzle has been removed. And I, I'm telling you, I have never felt so free in my life. I have never felt so free in my life knowing that this is going to help somebody. So here's um, a, a depression self-care plan. And when I talk to people, especially the ladies that come into my Wellness God's Way program, you know, if I sense that something's going on, this is the self-care plan that I give them again because self-care is so important. So here has been my personal um, depression self-care plan. Number one, first and foremost, we have to turn to God. 
All right, somebody type that in for me. First and foremost, turn to God. So again, this is not me just sharing my story. This is also a teachable moment for you all or someone you all, someone that you all may know that is, you know, um, struggling in this area. So turn to God. We need to say no to our emotions, no to our emotions, and yes to communion to God. First and foremost, number one, say no to our emotions and say yes to communion with God. So when I show up talking about my flesh is not the boss of me, my emotions are not the boss of me, that is where all of this came from. That is where all of this came from. Because I got sick and tired of my flesh and my emotions bossing me around, telling me what to do. So we need to say no to our emotions, no to our flesh, and say yes to God. First and foremost, on the self-care plan is turn to God. Turn to God. Number two, of course, seek help. Of course, seek help. Seek help. You need to, if you, you know, seeing a therapist, you're seeing a psychiatrist, you know, you want to continue to do that. Yes, first and foremost, we're supposed to turn to God. But um, second, yes, if you need help, if you are struggling and you need help, it's okay. Somebody type in the comments, it's okay. It is okay to get help. It is okay. It is okay. And next is you know, take your medication or, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is, you know, when you go to the doctor, whatever plan, whatever they've given you to do, you want to make sure that you follow it. You want to make sure you, you, you follow it. And so, uh, and, and listen, when I show up, I know you all see all kind of stuff on my page and I need you all to hear my heart here. I'm not showing you showing up, just trying to sell you something just to make a dollar. I am showing up because Number one, first and foremost, that is what God has given me to do. And I am here to help. I am here to help you. I am here to share, you know, what has helped me and what has helped many others. So listen, hear me. I need to say this again. If you have been prescribed medication, by all means, take it. I, Keisha Johnson, I am not telling you not to do that. But for me, I knew that there had to be a different way. I knew that there was a different way. I, you know, I, I knew there was a better way. And so I personally have been researching um, different things. And so that's how I found out about CBD. If you don't know what it is, you can search my page. I've shared a lot about it, or you can Google it. CBD, um, go ahead and, and Google it. And so that's how I first found out about, you know, CBD and the many different benefits of CBD and a different CBD oil. And this is an oil that I know I don't sell this oil, but this is the first CBD oil that I found and I began using from this company. And so it helps me. It helps me to manage my stress. It helps me to manage my anxiety. It helps me to manage my depression. It helps me to manage all of those things. And so um, it's important for us to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves all right um, so um, I don't know what number we're on so next eat right proper nutrition is important drinking our water is important getting in our vitamins and nutrients is important it is important again I shared that another cause another possible cause or reason for depression is physical it's because due to an improper diet you know due to lack of exercise due to not getting enough sleep you know i'm not showing up just you know buy my vitamins you know so i can make a dollar no i know what works for me i know what works for me and i'm here to help i'm here to help that's what i do for a living I change lives for a living. I help, I partner with God to help change lives for a living. That's what I do, you know, and I'm so thankful and so grateful for that. And so eating right, all right, what number are we on? Proper amount of sleep, you know, so poor nutrition can help to escalate things. Poor nutrition can help to escalate things. And as a matter of fact, I didn't, um, I didn't do my waking early for his glory broadcast. And so I take my vitamins every single day. I don't care what vitamins you take. I'm not telling you to buy the vitamins from me. I don't care what you take. <laughs> All right. And so poor nutrition can help to escalate 
those escalate things when you are suffering from depression and I spilled my vitamins all on my paper all right working out working out this is part of your depression self-care plan or self-care plan in general not only those that struggle for depression just a self-care plan in general all right so working out moving helps to decrease depression I spilled my vitamins all over me um, moving helps to decrease depression is this helping anybody moving helps to decrease depression moving helps to decrease depression number um, whatever we're on saying no it is important for us to say no and we need to remember that no is a complete sentence you can say no without giving an explanation no expl explanation needed all right you need to watch how you talk to yourself I, I kind of dealt with this last week. I began saying some things about myself that I know that I have no business saying about myself. And so we have to watch what it is that we say to ourselves. All right. We need to watch how we talk to ourselves, whatever number we're on now. Um, we need to stay connected with others. We need to stay connected with others. Social isolation is the worst enemy. And that is one of the things that I've struggled with and the enemy really tries to isolate me in these times you know when I go through these bouts of depression or when my anxiety is like on another level you know and so it's important for us to stay connected it's important for us to stay connected and um, last but not least we need to know our triggers we need to know our triggers and listen I know my triggers I know my triggers I know my triggers that's why last week when that situation happened I knew and I knew that I that I needed to make a disconnection there because that was a trigger for me you know so what happened triggered me what happened triggered me and so what would have been just a you know a little response from someone else but what that did that triggered me so that was why I responded the way that I did and because I hadn't that hadn't happened in so long that made me stop and so I said whoa wait a minute what just happened here hold on and I had to stop I had to stop I had to pause okay and so depression is an illness that requires a great deal of self-care all right I need to say that again depression is an illness oh, I'm sorry hold on that requires a great deal of self-care and it is not optional it is not optional. It's not optional for me. You know, it's not optional for me. I, I, I can't get to say whether I feel like eating right today or not. You know, it's not an option for me to say whether I feel like drinking my water today or not. It's not an option for me to say whether I feel like taking my vitamins or not. It's not an option. So that's why I show up. So that is my why. So now you all know that is my why. That is why I show up the way that I do because it's not an option for me because I know when I do not take care of myself things can quickly escalate and spiral out of control and so it's important to have a self-care plan and to stick to it no matter what it doesn't matter who we need to say no to or what we need to say no to and that's why I try so hard to encourage others to take care of themselves self-care is so important and let me just be transparent the reason why that 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 um what do I want to call it that situation episode I don't know whatever you want to call it why it happened because I had a rough week that week and I wasn't you know and I'll tell you what I did I stopped doing the things that I do that I know that helps me I stopped for that for those couple of days I stopped doing the things that I do that I know that helps me and so when that happened that was why all right and so um, self-care is vital to our physical well-being our emotional well-being and our mental well-being is this helping somebody this morning I know I didn't just go live for nothing this morning I know that God didn't have me show up and do this for nothing so I pray that this is helping somebody all right and so we need to be protective of our time and we need to be protective of our self-care plan and i'm going to say this again our mental health is our wealth our mental health is our wealth and so when i asked you all today you know what do you see when you see this face 
you know, some of you said victorious, some of you said happy, some of you said rejuvenated, some of you said vi vibrant, some of you said, you know, someone that loves God. All of those things are true. And so I'm here to say, you know, depression doesn't have a look. It doesn't have a look. It doesn't have a look. It doesn't have a look. And so it doesn't have a look. Yeah, he needed me to talk about it because most people don't want to talk about it. And I remember saying this morning, God, I don't want to go live. I don't want to talk about this because I, the enemy wanted me to feel like I'm taking a big risk. You know, and, and, and again, my heart is to obey God, even if it's just to help one person. I said, you know what? Yes, I'll do it. Yes, I'll do it. And so, again, I need you all to hear this, all right? Depression is an illness, and it's not a sign of weakness. Depression, good morning, Prophet Shanae. Depression is an illness. It is not a sign of weakness. And I think for me, I was meant to feel like it was a sign of weakness. And I, I was just like, I'm far from weak. You know, I, I wanted to stay far away from that. And so I've kind of, you know, depression is not something that you can just think away. Um, honestly, it's not something that you can just pray away. It's not something that you can just ignore. You know, I've tried all of those things simply because I said, I don't want to be like my mother. And when I realized, oh my God, I am just like my mother in so many ways. That's not what this broadcast is about today, but in so many ways. And so, you know, just seeing how she handled it and seeing how she responded to it. And so she, I grew up literally with her sleeping all day long. I went to school, she was asleep. I came home from school, she was asleep. I, you know, I sleep all the time. And I remember saying, I don't want to be like that. So it is something that runs in my family. But God is saying, but it stops here. You know, but God is saying it stops here. But God is saying it stops here. And so again, my heart is really truly for the leaders. My heart is truly for the pastors because as a leader and a pastor, you know, you feel like, who can I trust? Who can I share this with? And so when we look at these different pastors and we see in the news that, you know, this pastor took his life or that pastor took her life, you know, or he took his life through the depression, you know, it's one of those things that so many people suffer with silently. And I'm excited today because the muzzle has been removed. It stops here. It stops here. And listen, ain't nobody mad but the devil this morning. Ain't nobody mad but the devil this morning. The devil is mad, but God is glad. It stops here. Y'all go ahead and type that in the comments. It stops here. It stops here. You do not have to suffer in silence. You do not have to suffer alone. And so, again, the reason why I opened up this broadcast, asking you all, what do you see when you see this face? Because I want you to know that you can struggle with depression and anxiety and still be used by God. You can still be happy. You can still be vibrant. You can still love God. You know, he, God can still use you. All of those things, you know, because, again, it is an illness. You know, that doesn't mean that something is wrong with you. And so, this, again, the stigma attached to this thing here that we're talking about today will keep you muzzled. And that is why so many people end up taking their lives because they suffer in silence. They suffer in silence. And I said, you know, I'm not suffering in silence anymore. I'm just going to talk about it. And again, I said, God... I don't know if I want to do this. I feel like I'm taking a big risk here. <laughs> you know, and so shame and stigma will keep you silent. But today, the muzzle has been removed. But today, the muzzle has been removed. Okay? And so, um, so with that, um, my other note is we must be proactive about our time and our self-care plan. Okay, and so remember, depression is an illness. It's not a sign of weakness. And it can affect anybody people that you least expect it can affect anybody and for me it went it's something that ran in my family something that ran in my family until it ran into me hello <laughs> you know something that ran in my family and something that no one ever talked about you know I didn't know you know that my mother was depressed I didn't know what all that medication was for it was one of those secrets and one of those things in my family that no one ever talked about you know there are so many family members that took so many different secrets to the grave because no one wanted to talk about it 
no one wanted to talk about it. So I want to leave you all. Of course, I can't end this broadcast without leaving you all with scripture. All right. And so I'm going to share some things that I do. All right. And this is me just sharing what I do. Again, I am telling you, Keisha Johnson is not saying if you are on medication, do not take your medication. I just know, you know, the times that I have taken it, how it made me feel. And I just said, no, I'm not doing it anymore. And so that's why I'm so passionate about sharing the benefits of CBD. And again, y'all, that was something it took me a long time to go live and openly talk about out of fear of being judged, out of fear of what people were going to think, out of fear of what people are going to say. And I know people have something to say, but you know what? What did I brought? What did we talk about the other morning? You know, other people's opinions of me is not my business. What did we say? I don't care. I no longer care about what people are going to think. I no longer care about what people are going to say. I don't care about what someone may say that's looking at this video right now. Like, I can't believe she went live talking about that. I don't care because I know that this is going to help somebody. So when we look at these pastors, when we look at these people, these different leaders, and, and the reason why I'm pointing out leaders and pastors is because you know, at me as a leader, you know, me at having pastor friends that I know that suffer. They feel like they have no one to go to. They feel like they have no one to talk. You know, they, they have no one to talk to because people are going to judge them. Judge me. I don't care. That's just where I am right now. I no longer care about that. You know, I no longer care about that. I said, God, if you want to use me to talk about this, by all means, do it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I wasn't afraid at first, you know, because that was the whole reason why. Listen, God, listen, I tried to go live on Waking Early for His Glory this morning. God pulled the plug on that broadcast. <laughs> God pulled the plug on that broadcast. As soon as I said, I have something I need to talk to you all about, but I'm going to do another live later. He pulled the plug. That, that broadcast came to an end. And my first thought was th to blame the enemy. God's like, no, I did that. I pulled the plug on that. You thought you were about to show up and talk about what you wanted to talk about and say what, what you wanted to say and not what I told you to say? I pulled the plug on that. So I said, okay, God, I grabbed my notes, I grabbed my paper, I grabbed my pen, I grabbed my Bible, and I sat down here, okay, what are we talking about today? <laughs> I'm sorry I had to share that and so what I do um, these are some of the things that help me to manage you know so first and foremost I make sure that I eat properly okay that's super important um, I make sure that I work out and listen when you are um, you know struggling or dealing with depression and anxiety simple da daily tasks for people um, where it would normally be easy for them it is hard for you. There are days, and listen, my thing is, I will not quit, I will not give up. I will not quit and I will not give up. I will not quit and I will not give up. And so things that are simple for everyone, so on days where I'm like, oh, I have to show up and work out, trust me when I say, I don't want to do it, but I have to say, flesh, you are not the boss of me. Emotions, you are not the boss of me. And so where it would be easy for others to get up and to show up and to work out and just to do little things, it's hard. And there are times more than others where it's hard, where I have to force myself. And so it drains you. It drains you because you have to force yourself. You have to make yourself do the little things. And that's why I think and praise God, you know, for Facebook at the time when I first began showing up because that was strong accountability for me. You know, it was strong accountability for me. You know, it helped me to come out of that dark place. And when I say dark place, I was in a dark place. You came to my house, you you, you saw uh, towels over the window. You saw, uh, you know, blankets over the window. I wanted no light in, no sunlight, no nothing. Stayed in my bed all day crying all day long. That's where I was in that moment. And something said, girl, get up. I made myself get up. I'll never forget that day. I made myself get up. I said, I'm going to eat a salad today. And I'm going to go outside and go for a walk and get some sun. And I'm going to drink some water. 
you know and let me tell you all y'all don't understand that the fight is real <laughs> and every time I get knocked down I get back up I'm like the enemy needs to understand I will not quit I will not give up I will not get I will not quit I will not give up and so I know what it feels like to be in a dark place I know what it feels like I know what it feels like to literally be scared for your life because you have the thoughts in your head telling you go on and do it nobody nobody will care go on and do it nobody will even notice that you're not here go on and do it you have no purpose there's no reason for you to be here but God but God somebody say but God I thank God that the that that he did not allow the enemy to have his way with me and that is why I'm so passionate about helping others I'm not like work out you right do all these things for nothing self-care is important we have to take care of ourselves our mental health is important all right we have to take care of ourselves and so i have some scriptures here that i want to read and then i'll let you all go scriptures specifically for anxiety and depression right and so like i say all the time if you are sick in an area if you go to the doctor they tell you to take your medication you know three times a day that's the same thing we do the word of god is our medication the word of god is our medicine and so it's three pages and i'm going to read it i'm not going to rush through this i told god that you know i would take my time and say whatever it is that he wants me to say today and so again you are looking at a face <clears throat> you are looking at a face you are looking at someone that says yes I struggle with that I struggle with anxiety yes I struggle with depression does that mean that something is wrong with me no does that mean that God can't use me absolutely not God can still use me he is using me God can still use you so don't allow the enemy or people to think you know that something wrong is wrong with you and you can't be used by God you know and so again some of the things that I do I'm going to share what it is that I do because I know how I feel when I do this and I know how I feel when I don't and so um first and foremost I make sure that I drink my water it is so important because I know how I feel on the days when I drink my water and I know how I feel on the days when I do not drink my water and so I know um, and I don't think I've ever posted about this publicly on my page um, <clears throat> again out of fear what people were gonna think and what people were gonna say but I'm saying today I don't care I don't care what people think I don't care what people say and so I had been researching different products and different things and different supplements and things like that and I'm not saying to stop taking your medication but I'm saying for me I need it an all-natural way you know to help me to manage my stress and my anxiety and so a lot of times on the videos you all see me what is that pill you're taking you know and so it's um my NRG and I know you've probably heard about it probably see it all over social media for different reasons you know and I've been taking it for a while now and it helps me to manage my stress um, and so it's just natural raw energy and it has something in it called 5-HTP and so that's an all-natural supplement that literally helps to send happy signals to your brain so if you google it it is an all-natural way um, to help manage depression to help you know manage um, anxiety and so again this right here cannot be found in my online store it's an empty bottle but it's um, a bottle of CBD that I found you know many 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 months ago it may have even been a year now and I've saved this bottle just to kind of remind me uh, um, you know on what the benefits of CBD are and what it did for me and so there are different ways that you can and you can um, you can take CBD all right um, it can be you know orally it can be through a tea which I drink my CBD tea every day it can be through drops um, do I have my drops? It can be do drops. I take my drops every single night. I take my Harmony drops every single night. Um, and I'm not going to lie on some days. If it's, um, some days may be harder than others and I can say that and it's okay, then I take my Harmony drops, you know, and let me just do it. You, um, and this is a way to ingest CBD. See, look at this. This was not in my notes. This is so God. And so you just, um, I 
I swallowed it, but you're supposed to hold it under your tongue for like 30 seconds and then you swallow. And so again, there's so many different benefits and because um, I feel like I've just come out of the closet on this live, I'm going to start going live and um, teaching and sharing more on the benefits of CBD because I feel like that's just important to do. And again, um, again, if I can be transparent, I've been afraid to do that out of fear of what people were going to think and what people were going to say, but I no longer care about that. You know, I care about the people and, and, and God it just reminded me, if you are keeping your mouth closed out of fear of what people are going to think and what people are going to say, you know, what about those people that need to hear what it is that you have to say? What about those people that are attached that, you know, that, that, that are waiting on you to show up? And so those are the people that I care about. I don't care about the people that have something negative to say, you know, I care about the people that are waiting on me to show up you know so i'm going to show up and start sharing more about that because cbd is a natural way to help manage depression to help manage anxiety hashtag ask me how i know so i take my NRG every single day and this is not me just trying to sell you something so for those of you that may be watching or watch the broadcast that's not even what this is about hear my heart here i am sharing what helps with me and so last week when that situation happened that was a week that i wasn't on top of my self-care. I wasn't, you know, I didn't take my, 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 my supplements every single day. You know, I didn't, uh, I wasn't drinking my water, you know, where there were so many things going on and I, I didn't do that. And I saw what happened as a result of that. So that's why it's so important for us to put ourselves first, to put our self-care first, to find a regimen that works and to stick to it and to stick to it. All right. And so, um, I don't, oh, I do. Uh, let me just do it in this. This is way too much water, but I'm going to show you all. And so I, I'm not saying get your CBD from me. I'm not sitting here, you know, trying to do a commercial and um, to get you all to just, you know, come and buy my stuff. If you do, that's great. Um, but if not, that's okay too. But I just want to show you all um, how easy it is. And so this is something that I do every single day. So you just open up the tea packet. I put it in my bottle of water. This is too much water. Um, it really is supposed to be like eight to 16 ounces. Oh, you can't see. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you all. Look at me, I just came out of the closet. Talk about pushing past fears. Hello, look at God. God did this one. All right, and so you just put it in your water bottle and you shake it and drink it. All right, and I shake it and I drink it. And so this right here is another way to intake CBD. And then there's other ways like the little vapor things, but I don't do that because I feel too, I'll feel too much like I'm smoking a cigarette or something. Um, and there are gummies. I don't have gummies. I just have um, the tea. Um, I have a rub and I have drops, you know, so there are so many different ways. And the tea is really good. It is Debbie. It's like a lemonade. You can see it. It has lemon extract in it. Um, and so for me, it helps me to manage. And so again, I keep my harmony drops. It helps me to sleep better, you know, and if I can be transparent and this live is way longer than I wanted it to be. And that's okay. Um, it is what it is. And so I used to be, um, do I want to say addicted? I don't want to say addicted. I used to take um, sleeping pills every single night, every night for years. And when I say years, every night for years, every night for years, because that was the only way that I could get sleep. And I just said, you know, this is not okay. And so again, that's when I began doing research. Um, so it's only been in the last two years um, that I haven't done that. I was just like, I'm not taking another sleeping pill again. And so I turned to um, putting my my earbuds in my ear and listening to the word of God and falling asleep that way. Just really trusting God, you know. Um, so I think that's it. Let me make sure I shared all my notes. Is this helping somebody? Is this, is this helping somebody? So remember, our mental health is important to us. Um, I don't care what anybody says. Depression is an illness. It is not a weakness. You can still be used by God. It's okay to say I am anointed and I need help. It's okay to say I'm anointed and I need healing. It's okay to say I'm anointed and I need deliverance. All of that is okay. All of that is okay. Yeah. Yeah, Debbie. All right, look, God is in control. So again, I want to leave you all with some scripture and then I will let you go. I don't know how long we've been on, but I'm going to go ahead and end this. Um, so again, um, with these verses, I'm not going to read the verses. I'm just going to read them and insert my name. And if you want a copy of this, and so when um, 
I'm on the phone with people. Um, again, I am not a doctor. You know, I don't in any way claim to be able to mitigate, you know, any illnesses or diseases. I'm just telling you all what I know that works. And so I'm not saying take deep CBD instead of your medication that the doctor's giving you. I'm not saying that because I have to be really careful, you know, with that. Um, and so if you want a copy of this document, um, inbox me your email address. So please don't put it in the comments because it'll get lost. Inbox me your email address and I will give it to you. So this is what I do like on my phone consultations um, for those when I put up the post is anyone, you know, um, dealing with um, depression or anxiety or even stress. These, if this is what I go over on the phone with them. I send them a copy of this and share with them what has helped me, what works. And, and what works so let me read this peace I leave with you Keisha my peace I give to you this is straight out of the word peace I leave with you Keisha my peace I give to you not as the world gives do I give you let not your heart be troubled Keisha neither let it be afraid you will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because Keisha trusts in you trust in the Lord forever for the Lord is your rock eternal do not be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard Keisha's heart and mind in Christ Jesus I'm almost done here I tell you the truth Keisha whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven being confident of this that he that he who began a good work in you Keisha will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in spirit the Lord will rescue Keisha from every evil attack and will bring Keisha safely to his heavenly kingdom to him be the glory forever and ever amen find rest oh my soul in God alone my hope comes from him he alone is my rock and my salvation he is my fortress I Keisha will not be shaken may the God of hope fill Keisha with all joy and peace as he trusts in him so that Keisha may overcome with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, Keisha, and your plans will succeed. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably, immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine according to his power that is at work in Keisha or in me, if you are reading it. To him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. Then he said, then he said, then he said, Keisha, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. Then he said, Keisha, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. Amen. All right. So I did skip a whole page. There are three pages. I did skip a whole page because um, just for the sake of time. But if you all want a copy of this, um, and again, just like any other medication you've been prescribed, this God's word is medicine. You read this three times a day. What I have done is I did a voice recording of myself. Excuse me as I'm smacking. I did a voice recording <coughs> of myself reading this and I listen to it three times a day. And so that helps me to be focused on the word of God. So again, I pray that this has helped you and know, um, no matter what, you know, you can still be used by God. You do not have to be perfect in order to show up and be used by God. Hashtag ask me how I know. I am far from perfect. I am far from perfect. But I just pray that, you know, this broadcast has um, helped someone. I know that someone may watch this and will have something to say. And that is okay. Um, you want a copy? If you want a copy, inbox me your email address, please. Um, whoever wants a copy, if you put your email address, it'll get lost in the comments. So inbox me and I will email this to you. And I'm excited because um, I'm going to be showing up more and just sharing and talking more about the benefits of CBD and how it has helped me personally. Um, it has given me an all natural way to manage my stress, you know, my anxiety and my depression without having to take the medications, you know. Again, I'm not telling you not to take yours. I just knew, you know, remember how it made me feel on the times that I did try. Um, and I, I just I just said I can't. I can't. And so it helped me to understand why my mother was asleep all the time. It literally made me feel like a zombie. And I just said, you know what? I don't want to do this. I said, God, there has to be another way. 
And so, yeah, she slept a lot all the time. You know, I went to school, she was asleep. You know, we came home from school, she was asleep. We went to sleep, she was asleep. And that's just how, you know, how it's been. And I just said, mm -mm. And so I denied it for a really long time. You know, I've been denial for a really long time simply because I said, I don't want to be like my mother, you know? And so it's, this is not something that can be denied. We have to take care of ourselves. You know, our mental health is important to us. And I need you all to know that God can still use you no matter what. Mm -hmm. Philo said, none of the people God uses it. Listen, that's right. I thank God I'm not. Listen, listen, that's too much pressure. Trying to have it to be perfect, too much pressure. Mm -mm. I don't want that pressure. I just want to show up and be me. I don't want that pressure. I don't want the pressure. I don't want that pressure. I just want to be able to be me. You know, I don't want that pressure. I don't want that pressure. All right, so I think that's it. I pray that this has helped you. Please go ahead and share this broadcast. I know that it's going to help someone. Um, and, and do something today. Just take care of yourself. Drink your water. You know, take your vitamins. And I saw some of you that commented again. I'm not just showing up trying to sell you something. There are many different benefits to taking a liquid vitamin. And let me tell you all, this is the only liquid vitamin that I have been able to take and my kids have been able to take without feeling like we're going to throw up. <laughs> This is the only liquid vitamin that I have been able to take and the kids have been able to take without feeling like they're going to throw up. And so um, I share what works for me. And again, at the same time, I just thank and praise God. And let me tell you all, this is a little nugget for, for somebody. Anything that you use every day, you should be selling. That's going to help somebody. Anything that you use every day, you should be selling anything that you use every day personally and that you are sharing with others and they go and buy it you should be selling and so i have learned that partnership sometimes is better than ownership let me say that again see this is so god rabbit trail here partnership sometimes is better than ownership and so I've been behind the scenes, you know, trying to come up with different supplements and vitamins and things of that sort of my own. But when God allowed me to partner with a company, you know, when he has allowed Keisha Johnson Wellness to partner with a company that had the same vision and the same goals of helping people to get quality supplements at affordable prices into their own hands, I felt like I needed to stop doing what I was trying to do, you know, and sometimes partnership is better than ownership, especially, you know, in that area, you know, it was a lot of work, you know, a lot of research trying to come up with my own CBD products. So again, you know, sometimes partnership is better than ownership. And so with that, I decided, you know, a long time ago, and again, this is something that I kept quiet for quite some time. And I'm just like coming out of the closet today about all kind of stuff, you know. And so, yes, yeah, sometimes partnership is, on, is, is better than ownership. And so, you know, God has given us the power to create wealth. You know what I mean? So whatever you're using every day, you should be selling. So do some research, you know, do some research instead of sending the, sending the people. You know, I was sending everybody to GNC, you know, sending everybody to Amazon, you know, sending everybody to all of these places. And God's like, wait a minute. Just stop and do some research. Stop and do some research. And so, yeah, listen, I feel so free today, y'all. Can I? I feel so free. I feel so free. Can somebody type in, it's on now? Can somebody type that in, it's on now? It's on now. The enemy needs to know it is on now. You tried to take me out, but it didn't work. <laughs> He tried to take me out, but it didn't work. It is on now. It's on now. Thank you, Viola. It's on now. It's on now. Listen, he tried it last week. Somebody say, it's on now. It's on now. It is on now. It's on now. It's on now. It's on now. I went live. Did this broadcast? Oh, it's on now. It's on now. It's on now. That's all I that's all I got to say. It is on now. 
So yes, if you need help, you know, uh, if you want an all natural way, you know, to manage your stress, to manage your depression, to man manage your anxiety, let me know. Like I said, I'm not just trying to sell you something. I'm trying to share with you what works. All right, it works. What works. All right, so I love you all. Have a great day. I don't know how long we've been on this live. I feel so free. I feel so free. The muzzle has been removed. And ain't nobody mad but the devil. Um, Viola, my website, the link to my website is in my bio on my Facebook page. Like if you go to the top of my page, you'll see my link tree um, link. Or I'll share it in the comments or you can message me. All right, so I pray that this has helped somebody. So remember what you all said at the beginning of this video, what you see when you see this face. Depression doesn't have a face. You know, anxiety doesn't have a face. Stress doesn't have a face. You know, it doesn't have a face. You just need to know how to manage it. You know, you just need to know how to manage it. You know, you can still live a great life. You can still be happy. You can still be used by God. You know, just have a plan and um, stick with it have a self-care plan and stick with it all right so i love y'all i gotta go bye share the video mm -hmm.